Yeah, good morning. Uh, thanks, Donny, and the, the panel for this uh, good opportunity. Um, yeah, I mean, it's very interesting to see some of this good number uh, mainly coming from Africa. And now let's move a bit in the region where we are sitting here in Southeast Asia, and in particular uh, from Vietnam, where uh, International Livestock Research Institute, INRI, we, we are based and, and we are working in, in the country and the region. Um, I would like just to add uh, one point on the role of livestock. Uh, you see, the Africa uh, context is very particular, and when you move to Southeast Asia and Vietnam in particular, you have, have very uh, intensified livestock systems. For a country of 90 million people, we have basically uh, 30 million pigs produced per year, and the meat consumption is mainly from pork. It, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, most of Vietnamese uh, eat pork uh, in, in, in the country. And the important point to make is, in fact, most of this uh, pork is produced by the small holder. Basically, 80%, 80 to 90% of, of, of pork is produced by, by, by small holders in, in Vietnam. And that actually uh, leading to some challenges in managing uh, the topic we talked today about zoonosis and, and AMR. Um, the, I actually visited a CP farm during the Mahidon uh, conference this year. And actually, they show us very nice farm, highly, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, high level of biosecurity. Uh, and you see, uh, this is very nice. And, and basically, CP in Thailand uh, want to lead to zero antibiotics use in pig production. But when you look at the context of, uh, of developing countries, this is not something that will happen very, very soon. You see, uh, you know, 90, 80 percent of small farmers, they don't have this facility and, and mechanisms and, and facility to, to do on this thing. So I think that you know, it's, it's very challenging to see how we manage zoonotic disease and, and AMR in, in developing countries. So however, we compare to Africa, I don't know what, uh, in, in what context, but in, in Vietnam in particular, from the policy point of view, we, we see a lot of potential and and, and we can be optimistic in the sense that the government, they take up all of this thing to develop all this you know, national strategy and action plan to, to, to manage um, AMI and AMU in la livestock and aquaculture sectors. So this is from the enabling, enabling environment. It's good, but the implementation, people always ask the question, how we implement that on, at, at the ground level? So, so I think that you know, uh, in one of the, uh, another uh, session on AMR, we discuss it and we try to make the point also that you know, we need to generate more evidences from the economic point of view to really convince policymakers to take action on zoonotic disease and AMR in developing countries. Because it's so crucial, this role of livestock play for the poor uh, and for nutrition and, and, and food security and, and food safety in, in this country. You see, uh, 10 million uh, small uh, household uh, in Vietnam are involved in agriculture pro uh, pro production, and 4 million uh, households basically uh, are producing pig. So this really is a huge asset for, from livelihood generation, so the government needs to, to do something on that. But in, the, in, the, in, in another side, you, you cannot uh, expect that the government do everything to control this thing. So from the research point of view, there's a lot of discussion now at the moment to go more in the uh, uh, implementation research. Uh, you know, generating evidences to advocate uh, the policy, etc., is important at the same time. And in the, in the other hand, I think that we are really having to move to a phase where we have to do research to propose some of this actional uh, uh, measure to control zoonotic disease and AMR in the country. You see some of the uh, data from uh, research uh, showing that, you know, to produce one kilogram of live weight of pigs, Vietnamese farmer use basically the range of 200 to 500 milligram antibiotics. It's a lot compared to our Danish uh, colleagues. They, they use only 50 milligram antibiotics to produce one kilogram of live pig uh, weight. So I think that, you know, it's a really 10 times difference and, and I think that you know, the way forward is really to propose and, and you know, give intervention on the incentive base. Because you see, the incentive is key for farmers. You see why they have to reduce antibiotics uh, in crop promotion, etc., leading to the reduction of uh, red grain, for example. And they don't, cannot sell with, uh, the, this, uh, this uh, big with, uh, with higher price. So the incentive 
have to be uh, considered in own, on, on, it, uh, on this intervention. Uh, a good news for you is, in fact, you know, our, our Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, and uh, we have colleagues from DAH from Vietnam here, and, and Livestock Development Department. The regulation in Vietnam is, in fact, from 1st of January 2018, so, you know, one month ago. The, uh, you know, uh, you are not allowed to uh, add antibiotics in the feed at uh, crop promotion. Uh, measure. So that's it's, it's very, it's very good thing. So, but but I think that we, we need to go more on the intervention uh, from the incentive-based uh, uh, approach. And finally, I, I want to, to make the point, this is my last point, so the One Health is important. To do that, you know, you cannot do only from other countries. Uh, you need to involve other uh, people from health and other environmental sectors. And, and to implement this One Health approach in different countries, we need the capacity. And, 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 and I'm glad to mention also that you know, some of the initiative happening uh, for the last few years in Southeast Asia looks very promising. For example, from university point of view, uh, you have the Southeast Asia One Health University Network, Sihun actually is uh, funded by USAID, where we teach students at medical, public health and vet school about One Health, but we also go to the field to train professionals, people. Uh, uh, from animal health uh, level and, and preventive medicine level. So, I mean, we need to tackle at different levels, not only from university, but also uh, from ground level, where this activity is, uh, this is uh, really uh, ha happening. And I think that, you know, we need to do more in terms of capacity from different levels, combining the training and also the research. I think that the research is something missing uh, in, 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 in the region, that we, we need to do more, generating more evidences and coming up with solutions for the small farmers. Thank you.